Hello! In this video I will show you how to prepare Scratch 3 for programming We Do Robots on a MacBook. If you are ready, let's start! First, we need to access Scratch. So open your favorite internet browser and type scratch.mit edu. You will reach the main website of Scratch, which currently looks like this. And from here, it's easy to access the editor. All we need to do is click Create in the top menu. Mm -hmm. Now a new project is loading and we are inside the Scratch editor. A lot is going on and in the very middle you can see this pop-up window, green window with the Scratch tutorial. If this is your first time working with Scratch, I highly recommend you go through it. However, for the purpose of this video, I will just skip it. Okay. A lot is going on in the Scratch editor. On the right, you have the famous Scratch cat on the stage. On the left, you have programming blocks. You'll use them when working with Scratch to create programs. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of categories of code blocks. However, as you scroll through them, you will see that, well, there are no blocks here with which you could code, with which you could program electronic elements of a WeDo 2.0 set. Hmm. Fortunately, there is an easy way to fix that. We just need to add an extension. To add an extension, scroll to the bottom of this editor page until you see this blue icon in the bottom left corner named Add Extension. Let's go there. Right here you can find all the official extensions for Scratch for various kits. However, today we are interested in LEGO Education We Do 2.0. So let's select it. Okay, now I know you cannot see it yet, but all the blocks we need to program electronics of We Do 2.0 have just been added. Right now, the Scratch is encouraging us to connect Smart Hub so that all the code blocks, all the programs that uh, we create in Scratch can actually be connected to the robot. However, before we connect this Smart Hub, there is one more step, one more app that we need to install on a MacBook. The easiest way to do this is from this page, click Help in this pop-up window. Mm -hmm. You see that a new tab has opened and on this page, as you scroll right here, you will see a message to install Scratch link. Now, I am working on a backbook, so of course I will use Mac operating system right here. However, if you're working on another operating system, make sure to select the one that's right for your device. And from here we can install Scratchling um, either from the App Store or through a direct download. Now I will select direct download. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the installer is downloaded, so of course the next step is to install Scratchling. Unzip the download to get to the installer. Activate it. And of course, now we need to go through all the steps necessary to install Scratchlink on this device. Mm -hmm. And install. Now, of course, here you need to type your password. Mm -hmm. And unless it is installing, okay, the installation was successful. That's great. Okay, so let's close this. Mm -hmm. Oh well. And let's return to the editor. 
Scratchlink helps to maintain a stable connection between the Smart Hub and Scratch. However, in order for it to work its magic, it must be running in the background all the time. To activate it, go to your launchpad and select Scratch Link. Mm -hmm. Now, you all know it is running in the background if you look on top right here. Okay, you can see Scratch Link up right here. Okay, now the next thing we need to do to connect actually the Smart Hub, we need to check if Bluetooth is enabled on the device. As you can see on mine, it's not enabled yet. So let's fix this real fast. All you need to turn on the Bluetooth is selected right here. Okay, now we are back in the Scratch Editor and as you can see the window, the pop-up window has disappeared, but we can always go back to it simply by clicking on this orange exclamation mark right next to blocks from We Do 2.0 category. So let's do this. Okay. Now is the time to connect the Smart Hub. I have my Smart Hub from WeDo 2.0 right here and very important, it also has charged batteries inside. This means that I can start the connection process. So let's click Start Searching in Scratch. Mm -hmm. Now the Scratch is looking for any active Smart Hubs. To activate a Smart Hub, all you need to do is press this button. And as you can see, very, very quickly, Scratch found my Smart Hub and established the connection. Very important thing here. If despite installing Scratch Link, having Bluetooth enabled, Scratch still cannot find your Smart Hub, please make sure that your operating system is compatible with WeDo 2.0 extension. You can check this on the official LEGO Education website. But now let's proceed to the editor. Okay, here by the way, you can see all those new code blocks, which you'll be able to use to program uh, we do 2.0 electronics, okay? So now we have established the connection between Scratch and we do, at least in theory. Now let's test it out in practice. Give me a couple of seconds and I'll be back with a robot and a simple program that we can test. I am back and right above my head, you can see this awesome dragonfly robot. And right here in Scratch programming area, you can also see a simple program I created to activate the motor. So basically this means that if the connection is really there, you should be able to see this robot move when I activate the program. This one is activated by the green flag, so let's click on it and see if it works. Okay, the robot is moving, that's great news, because this means that the connection is really there, and it also means that I can keep on coding and creating much more interesting programs without having to worry about any problems with connectivity. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and easy to follow. I also hope that you will keep on coding, building and having fun with robotics. Thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you an absolutely awesome day. Thank you and bye!